all right so let's get started uh, we are looking at we are looking at some investments and the question is asking us to calculate mwrr so mwrr is simply calculation of irr of the set of cash flows so we first need to determine what are the cash flows so this is time 0 this is time 1 this is time 2 an investor buys two shares of 120 each at time 0 so 120 into 2 this is your cash flow here and i'm going to make this negative because it is a cash outflow then she buys three more shares for 135 each and this is happening at time 1 so we are going to say 135 into 3 again a negative value then at the end of year 2 she sells all her shares so how many shares are we looking at 5 at a price of 150 now i'm going to keep this value as positive because you are going to receive uh, the value here now during both the years the stock pays a dividend of 5 per share now this is where i have seen a lot of people get confused so what you have to do is analyze how many number of shares were we in position in this period so in this period we were in position of two shares and therefore the dividend that you will receive here would only be for two shares of dollar 5 per share or pound 5 per share so that's going to be 10 in this period the number of shares that we are holding are 5 which is these two plus these three and therefore the dividend that you are going to receive here that's going to be pound 25 and then you find out what are the cash flows so this cash flow is going to be minus 240 this cash flow here is 135 into 3 which is 405 negative plus 10 so we are looking at negative 395 so let me write that here negative negative 395 is the cash flow here negative 240 is the cash flow here and on this front the total cash flow that we will receive is 150 into 5 plus the additional 25 so the cash flow will come out to be 775 now once you have all the cash flows with you you just need to plug them in your cash flow function so first we press the cash flow button here to insert all the relevant set of cash flows once you have the cash flows then we will say second and clear work 240 using the plus minus button making it negative and then pressing enter then cash flow 1 would be 395 negative enter and cash flow 2 is going to be 775 enter and then we would look at what is the irr and press the compute button which would come out to be 15.35 which is option number a